Hi folks! In today's video tutorials I'd like to show you how to work with Creo Parametric 4.0 and Revolve feature. We will start with new 3D model and with specification of the name. In the ribbon you can find directly here the Revolve feature and if you start to work with Revolve feature the system asks you select or specify the sketch plane. You can see this information here. What you need to do, the Creo parametric always write the, some information here. So we would like to select the sketch plane. In the sketch, it's necessary to define the open or closed loop. I will start with closed loop. So you can see here that I can start with really easy shape with rectangle and the system automatically create necessary dimension for me. In the sketch, if you create center line as a datum feature, the system automatically create or change dimensions and create the diameter dimensions. So I like to finish the sketch. Okay. Yeah. And you can see here, I will switch off the displaying of the planes and if I use the right mouse button over there is the function show section dimension so you can see here the system automatically creating the sketch for me the diameter dimensions so you can specify the dimension in the sketch or directly here you can change it is no problem so for example 240 and you can confirm so the create the real feature is really easy. You need to specify only that you would like to create the real feature. You would like to specify the sketch plane and in the sketch specify the shape. Yeah. So I'd like to specify the new shape here as a rectangle and center line. If you always create center line in your sketch the system automatically create diameter dimension here yeah so 300 if my sketch is attached to center line the system will create the closed shape if it is not attached you can see here the system will create for me the rival feature as a whole with hole There's no problem, you can combine open revolve feature with close it and if it's necessary in the future you can create a hole. If you create a hole here you can again use the exist and exist and use the hole feature here and specify from which surface you would like to create a hole. You will specify the diameter and depth. Yeah. So for this example the depth of the hole will be through all. It will be directly go through the whole 3D model. So it was a really quick example how to create hole, place it on the axis. But I like to focus and continue with the revolve feature. So over here we would like to create some cuts. Again, if you select the revolve feature, you can specify and select the scheduler, sketch plane or you can use the placement define and over there is the function use preview sketch and the system automatically jump to previous sketch. If you would like to create a, another shape, for example here, I'd like to attach to the surface. You can use the alt key and system automatically add this information as the reference. You will specify the informations or necessary dimensions. And you can change it again yeah so for example like this and or if you would like to modify more you can use the right mouse button and over there is the flyout menu with modify icon and again you can set the new numbers and confirm with enter from the keyboard directly here so there are two options how you can modify the dimension directly by double click or use or select the dimension and use right mouse button modify or over here you can see the modify 
icon or function. If you come from OK, right now you can see that I don't specify the central dialect in the sketch because I, it's enough for me, this time engine. So I will come from OK. And right now the system asks me, can you select the curve or edge or axis? For what? Because we need to use the axis of revolution. The system automatically recognize that it is possible to remove the material. Yes, it's true, because I'd like to remove this material. And I'd like to remove around the axis 360 degree angle. So, OK, everything is fine. From now, it was really easy. Select feature, create a sketch and finish. But what will be happen if you will start with different shape or different angles and so on. So I'd like to focus on the next example, but I need to start with extra feature. You know that we can create extra feature really easy and it's really similar to revolve feature. We need to select the function extrude and directly from the model tree we can specify the sketch plane. I will use the symmetric rectangle with any dimensions. OK. And for example, that like this. OK. And if you would like to continue with Revo feature here, you can see that it's the possible to specify revolve on the any surface and again we can specify the shape what we would like to revolve but if you imagine here i have created a rectangle and right now i'd like to add the revolve feature here so if i select ok the system asks me select the straight curve edge axis or so on and so on so if you select this edge the system will automatically rotate or make a axis of revolution around this edge. If you select that edge, you can really quickly change the axis of revolution and the system automatically add or remove the material. Yeah. Where is the defined? The axis is defined here. So if you would like to change it, no problem, you can change it here. Or you can use the inner axis. What does it mean? I will go back to the sketch and if I select axis directly, I'd like to create a center line in the sketch and it will be looks like this. And if I come from OK, maybe if I will add material, you will see that I can use the internal axis. And the system will add material for me or remove. With dynamic preview, you can recognize it really easy and see what will be happen. Okay. Right now, I use the 360 degree of angle, but I don't want to use the what I don't want to spin around the axis for 360 degree. I'd like to use a different angle, and you can see here that it is the possible to use the custom. angle and you can use the custom angle to one side or another side if you'd like to remove the material you can switch over switch on yeah and then you can specify the angle the angle orientation or specification can be defined the symmetric lift to both sides or you can go here and I don't want to specify symmetrically. I don't, I would like to specify the, the first here. It will be 120 degree. And the second side will be, for example, to select it and will be to that surface. Yeah. And right now the system add material here, or you can specify the variable and add different angle. And again, you can choose if you would like to add material or remove material.
Here was example how you can work with revolve feature and specify different axis of revolution for one sketch or how you can specify the angle. The last thing what I'd like to show you is how you can use and create surfaces with revolve feature. Okay, I will start from scratch and I like to create revolve feature and my sketch plane will be front datum plane and in the sketch again I will create the center line and open shape. What does it mean? I will use only one line. If I close or if I finish and confirm OK, the system automatically show me the message that it is not solid because the shape is not closed. OK, I'm satisfied with it. So I will go back here I'll confirm OK. And with dynamic preview you can see here right now that is the surface. So if you would like to speak about the surface modeling, you can really easily jump the surfaces here. So if you finish the revolve feature, the system will create the surfaces for you. But I like to show you more. So if I will select the definition and go back to the sketch and I will close the loop, the system right now I work with surfaces. So if I will only would like to see the final version. No, no, no. I don't want to use the surfaces. I like to create a solid. So right now you can see the system change the colors. Okay, so right now it's a solid model. But we don't want to use and create a solid model. We would like to use the revolve feature. And again, I like to use the preview sketch. And in the sketch, I like to create similar shape and close and revolve feature ask me about the center line and it will be surface modeling so you can see here again two different colors that if you create the solid model it's uh, definite by different color like if you create a surface surfaces so it's really easy to recognize what was defined as a solid model or as a surface. You can specify the thickness for the, cr for the line. So I will select something bigger. In my sketch, it was created only one line. I have specified that this line is a five millimeter of a thick as a thick and for better explanation you can see here and how it's work if you create only line or open sketch you can specify that you would like to add material as a solid model with specified thickness the system can add material on the one side of the sketch or inside of the sketch or symmetrically. So if I specify the different thickness again, you can see here I can go outside from the sketch, inside from the sketch or symmetrically. So right now it's up to you how you would like to specify the thickness and angle and you have finished your sketch. I'd like to thank you for time and in today's video tutorials, you have seen a couple of examples how you can use and edit Revolve feature with Creo Parametric 4.0. See you later and bye bye. Vladimir.